Hey guys, it's Rhea here with today's message from the heart. I haven't done a little message from the heart for a few days now. We're finally finished and more settled in um, with our big move to the south. And it feels good. The sun is um, awesome. It's extremely healing, um, connects to the light within you to help emanate the light that you are. For everything on the outside is which you already are within. All right, guys, so these are all, all messages from Mother Earth, all cards I've taken outside on my uh, runs. And today's card that popped out is this card here. And it is a, uh, it's the shape, well, obviously it's the heart shape of a bark, like driftwood, but you know, a wood bark. The perfect shape of a heart. It's on the beach, it's in the sand. Looks like it's colder weather. I'm pretty sure it's colder weather. Looks like that's a little bit of like leftover snow. And again, the ocean always represents like emotion. Sometimes it reveals things that are hidden, like the moon. Um, the ground represents grounding. All right, so let's see what this says. The message is portal. You are the portal to the new world. You are the light revealing a new earth. It's through you that creation is birthed. You create as you see and as you believe. And this heart almost looks like a portal, the way it is shaped like a it's shaped like a heart, but kind of what you typically would think of a portal as this long, like, whoop, bringing it down to earth. It's a long, elongated heart. I like that. And it's bringing forth the energy that you are. You are love and light. And everything in the world is, is a creation of you. you. You, we, as a whole, birth creation on earth through the energy that we are. And the energy that we are, just like this says, we create what we see and what we believe and what we perceive. But it's the energy that we are that creates the world that we see. And it's not that the outward it's not that the outside world changes and that we got to make things happen from the outside, like say through changing laws or or through whatever it is you're trying to change on the outside world. And um, I don't want to say forceful, but like trying to change others, to ch trying to make others change, trying to have others see the way you see. All change happens through our inner connection to who we are. And... It's, it's through our connection of who we are and connecting to our light and connect, connecting to our truths and connecting to what we believe is how we create our outside world through a shift. Like it could be like this. So say you come into your, a certain truth and you realize something and it sparks a light, a, an illumination. Then you will see that reflected in your world. And it's through your own inner change, your own inner connection through your own inner light and through your own inner expansion that the outside world is created, that the outside world is um, perceived differently as a whole because we're individuals in our own expression of our light and love and energy, yet we're all connected, of course, through our oneness, through our, connected, through our collected consciousness. And through our change, you have no idea the impact you're making. It's not so much that you need to go out and try to change things. You Simply through being you, you change things. Because all our heart energy is connected in an invisible energy. You can feel it, but you might not be able to see it. But we're all connected through our energy. And you allow others to connect to that very light and love that you are just by being you. It doesn't have to be a, an outward action. It doesn't have to be in a direct way. We have come to, we have come as portals of our own God, gods. It's like all of us are gods and we've all come to earth with our own God being and 
truly the only purpose is, is to express that God being in whatever excites you, whatever your passion is, whatever way brings you joy. Things don't have to be hard and complex. Just simply being true to the true essence that you are creates. You are the portal. You are the change. And I know that sounds really cliche and it sounds really simplistic, but it really is. God creator speaks through all of us right down for the little infants to the wise, wise ones. And it, it's simple. It's just all light and it's all love. And the simplest of minds should be able to comprehend and understand what God is as opposed to the most complex mind because it's simple. It's light and it's love and it's available to all because it's who you are. It's your innate being. It's not meant to be hard. It's not meant to be... I mean, it's fun to delve into the depths and the mechanics and the physics and, and the quantumness of it all. But really, it's just being who you are and, and when you're shining who you are and being true to you who you are, you are a true, true portal. Just like this card says... You're the portal to the new world. You're the portal to all change. It's through your energy and through your beliefs. And, and not just understanding it from a mental concept and in theory, but acting upon it. Just acting on what and who you are. Not talking about it, but, you know, walking the talk. Is that right? Yeah, walking your talk. And that's how everything is created. Oops, sorry, <laughs> little bell. So to interpret the picture, I mean, to me, this represents the portal that you are bringing forth the energy to brighten up and bring light to the world. The sand in this part represents all the many different little pieces and all the little different aspects of everything in your world. And you bring forth that light. Your heart is like even the little specks here. Your heart is bringing forth the light and you are helped. You will help to... Transmute any darkness into lightness. You help to, to dissipate and bring light into areas that might be more dense, that might not be as um, enlightened and aware. Just through you, just through you. You are your portal. You are the portal, not just to your own reality, because you you do live your own reality amongst any other realities like other people that might be living in more dense realities, even though it's part of your world, doesn't mean you have to be living that. You can create your own reality within a, an, within a mass consciousness that might not be totally aligned, but through living your own reality, you help to bring light and awareness and help to dissipate darkness. And not through getting, not through getting um, pointing fingers and fear and, blame and looking at the negative like a lot of us like sometimes can fall into the trap of focusing on the dense energies that which we don't like that which is dark but if you focus on the lighter aspects the goodness in life you see the goodness in life you feel the beauty all around you then you expand the light just like you all know what you focus on grows where your awareness is is what you create that is the energy that is that is a, cre a creative force. Your awareness makes it real. So if you bring your awareness to the beauty, then that's what you create. I'll just, I'll just give you a quick little, little example. Um, my son and I were watching HDTV, and we we're watching C Caribbean Life. And he tends to kind of sometimes focus on the denser aspects of 3D, I don't want to say the controlling or the conspiracies or how people are trying to get you caught in that matrix. But we're watching it. And this couple had like a budget in, in, in the Caribbeans where they wanted to buy an Aruba. And he says, all these shows do is make you want more. They make you want more of that, which you can't have. And to me, that seemed really um, negative, <laughs> even though there is no negative or whatever. Everything has its place and its reasoning and it helps you grow and expand. The way I saw it was like, no, this uh, this shows you that things and things you desire you can have because it shows the budget. It shows things are possible. Like he thought that two hundred fifty two hundred fifty thousand wouldn't get you anything in the Caribbean, but what it did is it showed him what it can get. 
like those shows help you to show the possibilities to bring forth your dreams and and show that things are reachable and and to me I didn't see that as like oh just making you want more sometimes making you want something isn't necessarily a bad thing and putting a little desire and seed in your heart if it's something that you really do desire like say you do really would like to go to an island and enjoy warmth and seasonal te beautiful temperatures all seasons and stuff and you don't think you can afford it but a show like that might show you hey put a little seed and say hey maybe I can afford that and then work your way to achieving that whatever it is those shows can help spark dreams and stuff within you and ideas and creations and like you know all how the fixer uppers and how they buy things and how they're making their dreams come true within the budget they have and then expanding upon that once they're there. It's all really beautiful because it just shows you the world and it shows you the world around you in different places that you might not have been aware of. So it's all like really beautiful. So you could take a show thinking it's trying to make you have desires and dreams that make you want stuff to spend more money. But, you know, it's all energy and it's all abundance. And it's... uh it's just beautiful. It just depends on your perception and how you want to look at it. All right, guys. So hopefully this brings a little awareness to some to some sort of spark or awareness. Again, these cards are just to bring a focal part, a focal point of energy that you might need to just focus on in order to clear layers and connect more fully to your heart energy. And sometimes my mind is all scattered, so these just help to ground me and to say, hey, okay, Marie, don't forget today to focus on you being the portal of the love and light. Focus on your portal and your love and light and then through your belief, that's how you create. Everything is always connecting to the heart, but sometimes there's things you've got to um, kind of release or accept or realize and these cards just help to bring a little focal of the day and this one is portal. You are the portal to the new world and that's what it's telling you. You create as you see and as you believe. All right guys, thank you, have an awesome day.